continuing with a per minute calculations of the the power system in the last session we have seen that the how the the per minute calculations are carried out step by step the first step is you have to choose the base kilohertz and base mva in any one part of the circuit or you can choose base kilohertz or base kva in any one part of the circuit that depending upon you have to see the the capacity of the power system component based on that either you can choose mva or kva means you have to choose mva and kva usual practice is choose mva and kva in any one part of the circuit the base mva is uh, remains the same in all parts of the the power system irrespective of the transformer in between however the base voltage is changing from one part of the power system to other part of the system because of in between the transformer therefore you have to transfer the base kilohertz from one side of the power system side to the the other part of the power system by multiplying the transformation ratio of the transformer in between the two different sections of the the power system then whatever the quantity you are using that is a base kilohertz and base mva they are with respect to the a three phase system the same thing is written in the the point number 2 then the next step is the base mva will be the same in all part of the system what i told you is the base volt ampere whichever is choosing in any one part of the circuit that remains the same then for other parts of the system the other sides of the transformer the base kilohertz for each part is determined using line to line voltage ratio of the, the transformer that also we have discussed then the impedance value in per unit are calculated using the formula that is it is the actual value of the the quantity to the base quantity then how to find out the base impedance the base impedance we have derived the it is the ratio of the voltage square to the volt ampere It is a volt a square divided by volt ampere. Uh, that is, Z B is equal to V B square by S B. Then the I P can be calculated. It is the ratio of the voltage and impedance. That is, I P is equal to V B by Z B. Then once we know the base quantities, that is, we are chosen volt ampere, voltage. We are calculated Z B. We are calculated I P. We have got all the four base quantity. then all the four base quantity you have to make use to calculate per unit quantity of what is the volt ampere per unit what is the kilovolt what is the voltage per unit what is the current per unit what is the impedance per unit convert the actual values to per unit that is i per unit is equal to i actual divided by i per unit i uh, i base z per unit is equal to z actual divided by z b and so on if you want back the actual value you can convert convert back to the actual value if it is necessary then in the there are i am taking considering here uh, two sets of uh, different base quantity here in the first case i am choosing voltage in terms of kilovolt ampere as a base quantity and kvab that is volt ampere i am taking in kilovolt ampere okay the what are the calculations for this particular chosen base values just we look into here then i am interested in base current the base current i have to get it from these two quantity that is kvb and kvab that is we know the the relation for the the per phase base current because the calculations are made per phase per phase basis here i am using ibp that is the per phase base current is per phase volt ampere base to the 
per phase the whole voltage base that is it is also per phase it is also it is a phase value then what is the total three phase value it is kvab for it is for all the three phases for one phase it is divided by 3 the same thing i am using here it is a kvab into 10 raised to 3 because it is a kilo therefore i am converting into volt ampere by multiplying 10 raised to 3 it is a per phase it is per phase divided by 3 and vbp it is a per phase voltage the it is a kvb is line value the phase value is it is kvb by root 3 of course it is k is converted into volt by multiplying 10 raised to 3 Suppose if you are simplifying this equation, the final equation for the base current, what I am getting is KVAB divided by root 3 into KVB is the base current. That is two base quantity you are chosen here, the, the third one you are calculated here. And fourth base quantity you have to calculate it as Z, ZB. That is, we know that the impedance is, it is a ratio of voltage and a current. Voltage and a current. The voltage means it is a per phase voltage and it is a per phase current that is per phase voltage that is the base quantity what you are using the voltage kvb per phase voltage is kvb by root 3 of course into 10 raised to 3 because it is kilo volt that is converted into volts then divided by per phase current what is the per phase current already were calculated is it is kvab by root 3 into kvb the same the formula i am substituting here that is this value I am substituting here. Therefore, the ultimately the ZB what I am getting here is KVB square into 10 raised to 3 divided by KVAB is the, the base impedance. Means you are choosing these two base quantity the voltage and volt ampere. You are calculating third is the IB and fourth base quantity is ZB. You are choosing two, the another two can be calculated using these two quantity. Okay. When if you are choosing the base quantity is KVB and KVAB. The other combination of the base quantity you can choose as KVB and MVA. In the previous case, I chosen this as a KVAB. Now I am choosing here MVAB and the procedure is uh, remains the same. Then I am interested in the base current first. The base current is it is a per phase volt ampere divided by divided by per phase voltage. That is it is a volt ampere per phase and voltage per phase. What is the three phase volt ampere? MVAB. Per phase, it is divided by 3. Therefore, it is that is MVAB into 10 to 6 because it is a mega volt ampere divided by 3. And the per phase voltage is KVB by root 3. KVB by root 3. Of course, it is converted into volts by multiplying 10 to 3. Then if you are simplifying this equation, what I am getting is MVAB into 10 to 3 divided by root 3 into K into VB is the, the final equation what I am getting is for the base current if you are choosing these two as a base quantity. Similarly, the ZB is it is a ratio of the voltage and the current that to per phase base, base values. Then per phase voltage is KVB into 10 to 3 by root 3 and IBP already you are calculated here it is MVAB into 10 to 3 by root 3 KB the same the value I am substituting here then the finally what I am getting is ZB is equal to KVB square by MVAB MVAB is a, the base impedance if you are choosing KVB and MVAB what I am getting is this equation means you are choosing these two and these two base quantity you are calculated then the next step is just I am summary I am showing here base quantity you are chosen these two and IB and ZB you are calculated. If you are chosen KVB and KVAB these are the two equations you are derived already. If you are choosing KVB and MVAB as a base quantity then these are the two base quantity you are calculated using these values KVB and MVAB. Okay. Once we know the, the base quantity all the four base quantity then you can calculate the power unit value of all the four values. Okay. This uh, table shows here KVB and KVAB is the base is chosen. By choosing these two base quantity, you are calculated these two base quantity. That is why I made here base quantity chosen 
base quantity calculated based on chosen value that is ib and zb there are four base quantities 1 2 3 and 4 okay suppose the actual quantity usually the power rate quantity they are asked for the voltage current and the impedance therefore i am taking kva ia and za are the the actual values of the voltage current and the impedance of the system then what i want is power unit what is the power unit the power unit is actual value by base value start with the voltage the voltage power unit is equal to actual value of the voltage divided by the base value of the voltage that is kva is the given value here and the base value is the chosen value here kvab kva by kvb that gives a power unit value of the power unit value of the voltage similarly power unit of current is actual value of current divided by base current the actual value is here and the base value is here this actual value divided by base value that gives the power unit value similarly z power unit is za by zb za is already given here zb you are calculated here you have to make use of this equation and you have to find out zb therefore z power unit is equal to za by zb then what i am getting is kvb by kvb square into 10 raise to 3 this is the z power unit in terms of the actual value z power unit in terms of the actual actual into the base impedance now if you are choosing kvb and mvab as a base quantities here kvab were chosen here just i am changing from the bigger unit as a mvab then we are calculating ib and zb these two equations are already were calculated then if the given quantities are kva and ia and za then similarly you can calculate per unit value of kva by kvb is the per unit value of the voltage ia by ib that is the per unit value of the current and the per unit value of impedance can be calculated as za by zb okay this is how we have to do the calculations that is choose the two base quantity another two base quantity you can calculate once you know the all the base quantities then the actual quantities are given here the actual quantity divided by base quantity that gives the power unit value 